In this video, teacher will discuss comprehensive practice question number 8. Encik Aiman sells S meters of butter cloth that he purchased from supplier S and Y meters of butter cloth from supplier Y. The total length of the butter cloth purchased is at most 1000 meters. The butter cloth supplied by supplier Y is at least half of the supplied by supplier X. A. Based on the above purchase information, write two related linear inequalities other than S greater or equals 0 and Y greater or equals 0. Let S equals S meter butter cloth that he purchased from supplier S. Y equals Y meter butter cloth that he purchased from supplier Y. So now we look at the first information. The total length of the butter cloth purchased is at most 1000 meters. So the keyword is at most. At most means maximum. A maximum means cannot more than. So the symbol of inequality will be like this. Less or equals. So the first inequality is S plus Y less or equals 1000. The second information is the butter cloth supplied by supplier Y is at least half of that supplied by supplier S. So the keyword is at least. At least means can more than or equals to. So the symbol is like this. So how to write the inequalities? Y more or equals half of the supplied by the supplier S. You can write like this 1 over 2 S. So the second inequality is y greater or equals 1 over 2 s. B. Draw and share the common region that, that satisfies the linear inequalities constructed. So first inequality is s plus y less or equals 1000. So we draw the table like this. Put zero, minimum 0. Maximum 1000. We use the equation S plus Y equals 1000. So when S equals to 0, Y equals 1000. When S equal to 1000, Y equals 0. But another equation is Y equal 1 over 2. S. So when S equals 0, Y also equals 0. When S equals 1000, Y equals 500. After we complete this table, we plot the points. So for our first linear equation, S plus Y equals 1000. The first point is 0, 1000. So we plot it. S equal to 0, Y equal to 1000. The second point is S equal to 1000, Y equals 0. So S equals 1000 and Y equals 0. 0 is here. The second linear equation, the coordinate is 0, 0. So we plot the point 0, 0. And the second one is 1,500. So 1,500, the point is here. Then after you plot the points, you Draw a straight line pass through these two points. And don't forget level each of the straight line. 
after you draw the straight line now we try to shed the common region that satisfies the linear inequalities constructed how to shed okay for, for the first one s plus y less or equals 1000 less means the region below the straight line the second inequality is y greater or equal 1 over 2s greater means greater means the region above the straight line and don't forget we have s greater or equal 0 and y greater or equal 0 so on y axis s equals 0 so s greater or equals 0 is here and on s axis y equals 0 so y greater or equals 0 is here the common region that satisfies the linear inequalities is here in this triangle the C. From the graph, determine the minimum and maximum length in meters of parted cloth that is supplied by supplier Y if Inje Aiman purchased 500 meters of parted cloth from supplier S. 500 meters from supplier S means the line is S equals to 500. And S equal to 500, we need to determine that minimum and maximum length in meters of parted cloth that is supplied by supplier Y. So we draw a line like this. It is minimum. And this point is maximum. So I draw an arrow. Here and another arrow here. So on the graph, minimum length in meters of parted cloth that supplied by supplier Y is 250 meters, whereas maximum is 500 meters. Supplier S bears a short test of stock. Inje Aiman is forced to purchase at least 3 over 4 of the butter cloth from supplier Y. Write a linear inequality representing the above situation. Okay, we look at the fraction here. 3 over 4 means altogether 4 parts. I write this fraction is y to s 3 to 1 because total is 4 parts. This is not linear equation. So for equalities, we can write sentence like this. The length of parted cloth purchased by Inject Aiman from supplier y is at least thrice the length of the parted cloth purchased from supplier s. Is it easier for you to write the inequality? So now, here, at least, the keyword at least means must more than or equals. So y is here, so y more than or equals thrice the length of the parted cloth purchased from supplier S is 3S. So the inequalities is y greater or equals 3S. Draw a straight line representing the inequality in D1. So if I use the table like this, when it is y equals 3s equals 0 equals to 0. S equal to 1000, y equals to 3000. The maximum value of y is 1000. So we cannot plot the point on the grid paper here. 
So I need to change the value of S. So this value I change to 250. S equals 250, Y equals 3 times 250, Y equals 750. So here Y is 750. So now the points 0, 0 and 200 equals 250 y equals 750 here a straight line pass through these two points that's all for today thank you like my video please feel free to like and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you